Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both quarterbacks have reliable tight ends they know they'll be able to count on to make plays. It's the Jaguars going up against the Falcons. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 15 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Only three games left in the regular season as we join you from Everbank Stadium. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for kickoff and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we do. You know, when the weather gets cold and it gets this time of year, the, the games, the players know it's getting near the end and every game is important because your dreams of going to the Super Bowl they're still there. To get there, you probably need to win this game here today. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. The Jaguars are ready to run back this kick. This game has officially begun. Robinson's going to run this one out. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Bortles coming out now. He's in the top 10 in passing yards this season. Well, he's a big old boy, as they would say, and he is country strong, no doubt about it, when you watch him play. And to me, that's his biggest strength, the fact that he's big, he has a presence on the field, and he is definitely the leader of the football team. Robinson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Good for only a yard. Here's a look at the Jaguars' offense. Will they finally find a way to run up and down the field? So far on the year, it's been boring. Three, three, nine, the Jaguars snap it at the 26. We're early in this one, but already a crucial third and long play coming up. Oh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. Ball's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. The Jaguars really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third and long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. Hester's going to take this one from the 26. They'll mark him at the 40, and a run back of about 14. Lions coming out now, and what an accurate thrower he is. On the season, he's completed over 70% of his throws. <laughs> First. 
first down at the 40. Freeman's got it on the handle. The Falcons now move the chains. Freeman's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. And he's brought down right at the 43. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense, a model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. Matt Ryan under center. Second and six. Makes the reception. Games 14. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. Quarterbacks always love play action passes. Why? Because it usually gives them a little more time to throw. When you get more time, you're going to make a better decision and you're going to be more accurate. To the ground. And it's Paul Puzlesny who makes the hit. Now here's the Jags defense. They have not stopped the run all season long. When you can't stop the run, you can't win. The Jaguars defense now is going to go nickel. They want to keep feeding him the football. Freeman's tackled right at the 20. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Third and short. Freeman's taking the handoff. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Freeman's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third and short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. First down at the 17. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. The Falcons' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Coming up to the line at the four. Second and goal from the four. And now Ryan's going to take off. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. Matt Ryan with the touchdown run, and Phil, he is quite the quarterback. He is. Now, this will catch everybody by surprise. When you throw it like him, he doesn't like to run the football, but that time, no choice. He takes off and finds a way to score. Good job by Matt Ryan. Falcons with an extra point try on the way. It's good. The Jags are ready to return the kick. Robinson's going to test the coverage here. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Jaguars' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. Ball is out. Oh, they call him the football, and the defense takes possession. We're early in the second, but that fumble recovery could be a major momentum changer, allowing this offense to extend its lead. Absolutely. Let's go out there and get this game a rocket, man. So go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can get a bigger lead and just put the pressure on the other team. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. The Falcons have driven inside the red zone, and last week they were so effective inside the 20. Second and short. Stands in the pocket. The catch is made by Julio Jones. 
Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. All right, and welcome back where we've got an offense on that field that wants to try and increase the lead before we move to halftime. First and goal from the nine. He'll throw it over the middle. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's his first reception today. The Falcons offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. Ryan's now. touchdown, Atlanta. Now reaching his 30th touchdown pass of the year. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. Robinson's going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Falcons' defense right now is the story of this game, Phil. Yeah, and it's been a short story because the offense can do nothing against what they're doing. They are being physically dominant. The defensive coordinator, he's had a great day calling plays, and the defensive players taking advantage of it. Standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Has the reception all alone. They come to the line, and it's first down. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry-up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. And they deck the quarterback. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. They'll go shotgun here. And he's going down again. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. The Jaguars, this time, will go with two tight ends. Robinson's handed the football. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Falcons, one timeout remaining. And so now they'll call on Anger to punt the football. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Reynolds going to make the tackle. Hester's the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. Hey, let's go. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Ryan's taking off. Clutch catch. The Falcons will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. Should be what we call a gimme. Good. And 
with that, we've come to the end of the first half here off the banks of the St. John's River. We'll be back to Jacksonville for the start of the third quarter after this. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Jaguars now for two straight weeks are having trouble throwing the football. The Falcons' defense will hope they can force that trend to continue in the second half. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Falcons have it at the four. Ryan's looking for room to run, and he'd cap off the eight-play drive with a TD. The Falcons land the first punch. Jaguars have it early in the second. Ball's going to be up for grabs here. He'd end up picking up 54 yards before being tackled. Now following the fumble, Ryan's got the completion from the gun. And this will go all the way for a touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. Now waiting seconds of the half. The catch is made after a quick pass. He ends up picking up a yard before heading out of bounds. We're back here in this lopsided game. The Falcons ready to return the kick. The second half has officially started, and are we going to see a big-time comeback? And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Falcons official. The injury appears to be a broken collarbone. He will not be returning to today's game, and the team won't know the extent of the injury until after the x-rays. Tackles made. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. They're back to the line after picking up over 70 yards on the last play. And it's spotted away. It gets tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. You make a quick break on the football. Hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. Takes it on the counter. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. And Davis is the one who made the big stop. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration, and they tackled the runner for a loss. Offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing three for the first. The give this time to the fullback. The Falcons absolutely got a little greedy that time, thinking that they couldn't be stopped. They go for it on fourth down here, winning in the second half, and they fail to convert. That's a big mistake. The Jaguars offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Second down and nine. Ball is out. And they score again here to pad the lead. This defense has some mentality, don't they? Not only do they want turnovers, they want points to go with it. Nice job of taking it all the way back for the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. An extra point is good. 
The Jaguars return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The score is 24 to 0. Lee's running this one out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Jaguars offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. And they should thank the defense bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. And you're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. Holding offense. The defense will take the penalty. The Falcons lined up in the nickel. Robinson's going to secure the handoff. Durant's there to take him down. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Trying to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. Well, in a situation like this, third long, there's only a few things you can do. Screens always are good and safe. Draw plays are also a safe call. But if you're going to throw it, most of the time you throw it short and hope the receiver can catch it and make a run afterwards. The Jaguars don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of Staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. All set to punt here. him down at the 37 yard line that returns good for about 20 the Falcons love this type of play of course everybody would when you get a good punt return that's what you want and of course it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there the Jaguars defense locked down last time out there made that big fourth down stop oh man defenses love it when offenses go for it on fourth down once you stop them what an emotional lift not only for the defense but the whole team all right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. And that'll be a gain of about two. Falcons have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Freeman's been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they've done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside, draw plays. Everything is working for this running game today, and it's been impressive to watch. The reception is made by Roddy White. The Falcons are up right now, and a big reason why is the offense is coming through. On the season, you see the numbers, and they're not great. But today, they certainly have been in the groove. Jim, I'll just say this. Finally, all the hard work is paying off. It's starting to show on the field. Boy, but it has been one frustrating year for this offense. The Falcons have clearly enjoyed being able to take the air out of the football when needed today. Freeman's been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Now that it's working well, don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at him. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Hankerson with the grab. Another touchdown to increase the lead. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Falcon. 
Hopkins with the PAT to come. Driving extra point is good. The Falcons getting ready to kick it away. Robinson's going to run this one out. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Jaguars' offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. Well, Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Second down here. From the gun. Connects with Thomas. Godfrey's there to take him down. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. Third down. There we go now. Move for the go, go, go. <laughs> Looking across the middle, Julius Thomas with the reception. Mark him down for another reception. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. The Jaguars are coming off a tough loss last week, and while we heard from this coaching staff that they were past it, they really don't look like they are. Yeah, that's right. It was such an emotional loss for them last week. I, I don't think the team got over. There's a little hangover. They never recovered. And we're seeing the effects of all those. That's out of bounds incomplete. Here we go now. Move for five. Move for five. Second down and ten. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Godfrey's there to make the tackle. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. Trailing. They'll go hurry up rather than call a timeout. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Portals back in shotgun formation. Intercepted. And a touchback. What a horrible time to throw the interception. But hats off to the defense here, Phil. They come up with the stop, the play, the takeaway at just the right time. Yeah, listen, I, I give the defense all the credit in a situation like this. Uh, you know, they took advantage of a quarterback who they knew was going to have to take a chance, and they were ready to pounce on it. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Freeman's lined up in a single back formation. They'll go ground. Freeman's brought down after picking up only a yard. The Falcons signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Falcons are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Ryan's on the move. Ryan connects with Julio Jones on that one. We are so late in the season now, and it's all the more impressive to see these guys go out here and get another win to keep the undefeated year going. They have so many good players and so many ways they can win games, Jim. That's why they're undefeated. But what they're going to notice this week, going to be a lot more reporters hanging around their locker room 
because this undefeated thing, it's just going to keep building.